Hello everybody, this is Kevin with Inspiring How You See That. We're the inspirational channel that goes behind the scenes and interviews some of your favorite artists, entertainers, and much more. So today is another Tech Tuesday. We're going to be calling this a Double Up Tech Tuesday because we're actually going to be talking about uh, two different things in one day. We're going to be talking, you know, some editing, uh, helpful tips, but we're also going to be talking about the Creality CR6 Max. We've noticed that there isn't a lot of uh, you know things out there on YouTube for you guys that may have this 3D printer and may have some issues with it. So do make sure that you like and subscribe so that way anything that Brian and I are posting you'll get notifications when something comes out new. So today we're going to talk about the filament issue where it doesn't feed or even if you bought this printer and we've saw that this printer you know sometimes when it's brand even brand new it runs into some issues with some of the mechanics of it so within the filament there's a feed mechanism so within this picture here this shows the you know the Creality CR6 and you'll see over here your your filament actual holder and then the filament comes up and you feed it through the sensor and then the feed area so we're going to talk about this area right here um, where there's uh, some issues and we're going to talk about the fix if your filament is not feeding into the 3d printer itself so this here is the feed mechanism and of course there's a little lever here that will allow you to release the tension on the filament going through and then to push it back down it retightens inside of here on the filament which we'll show you on the next picture how that works this is on the next picture um, as far as where the filament will feed and go into the hole here and go through the roller and then back through and then again of course into your 3d printer this allows the for you to release spring tension within this mechanism now here's the problem even when you know, we've we've noticed a lot of these 3D printers, you know, especially the, the CR6 Max, this gear here is a problem. And when you're trying to feed your filament through or it's feeding, this gear here will actually loosen and or the, the, the it'll sit there and turn and there's a shaft inside here on the stepper motor, which will actually sit here and spin freely. So there's many causes to that either you know these the little allen keys which we'll show you in the next picture how to tighten those but the little allen keys will either loosen from the factory or they didn't tighten them enough and or you got to be careful when you're removing or changing your filament you have to make sure that this lever of course is released and that there isn't any tension in between here and you just don't pull it out so that's a big thing do not just pull out your filament without releasing this lever and we found that the you know even this mechanism here I mean there's upgrades which we'll go into further videos where you can actually upgrade these but we found that this is this is a pretty good workable you know filament hold mechanism and it, and it works works well but the problem is this gear and the two little allen key uh, screws that go onto the cylinder shaft for the stepper motor so we'll show you what that looks like in the next picture. So here's what the stepper motor itself looks like. This is the shaft I was telling you about that goes up into this gear. Now, of course, you want to make sure the height is correct as far as when you do retighten that gear and you're, you're fixing it. But just make sure that the height is correct and everything is correct. And again, do not over tighten. These are only little Allen key. They're basically brass. It's a brass gear and then the allen keys are steel so if you over tighten it it'll actually cross thread or strip out the thread the good thing is these motors are fairly cheap if that does happen you can purchase the motor separately and or you can purchase the gears separately so these are what the gears look like so you can purchase these in packs of you know two five ten but as you see i mean even these teeth wear out that's why they sell extras of these but pointer areas within the metal that will allow it to stick into the stepper shaft so you'll want to screw it in fairly tight but again do not over tighten this brass will strip out and then of course you will have to get 
a new gear or gear kit but like i said they're they're very you know inexpensive uh, but the bad thing is is if you don't have them on hand and you're trying to print something that day um, you will have to wait you know to get these back in stock so this is the quick easy fix for your uh, printer as far as that goes for especially the Creality CR6 Max this is what we found that this uh, that these do loose loosen up um, you'll just take out again of course this all apart this is the the part of the filament feed and once you take all this apart just make sure all your, your springs your assemblies and everything are all accounted for and put back on properly and then just remove that complete motor assembly which we've showed you here um, make sure there, there's going to be you know four screws in there and you take those out and the motor will drop out the gear of course will already be on it but just go ahead and take it out it's a lot easier to remove fully tighten that and that should correct the issue as far as the filament feed um, then once you get it all tightened back together make sure you do run it through um, what we always recommend is that you can leave the cap off of the um, filament feed area here to see if the motor is, is running you just have to have of course your sensor um, where your filaments going through for it to sense that there is filament in there and then you just make sure that the gear shaft is turning and it's working properly then once you you've confirmed that that's working properly it's turning on there then you again you reassemble and put it all back together so there'll be future videos within that you know maybe some dis disassembly of other components and parts so again if there's something um in any of these videos that you want us to talk about with your creality uh, cr6 max we'd be more than happy to put out videos for that just put it in the comments below we'll read these comments we'll get them and then we'll try to make future videos so if you have any problems with heating elements the you know again the, the feed mechanisms taking it apart the bed plates and other items so we'll keep trying to put out as much information for you guys as we can in, in regards to the cr6 max and again we hope this helps you guys and we'll see you on the next one